What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between? Welcome to an exciting new game series. We are doing here another uh, Let's Play series, Sam and Max Save the World. Uh, I don't really know much about this game. I just know that it uh, is one of the first games that Telltale, Seer Telltale Games made back in 2006 or so. Uh, I played a demo when I was very young. Um, it must have been over a decade ago. So, um, you know, back in the day, you used to buy these magazines that came with, like, game magazines that came with, um, uh, like, CDs or DVDs that had, like, demos and, and, vi and trailers and things and stuff on it. Uh, this is before, like, the internet was, like, really properly, properly going, at least back home where I was from in South Africa. Um, and my brother used to get this every month. And on one of these discs, uh, the particular magazine we used to follow was Nag. I don't know if it's still around now. Um, it might have been a South African magazine. I don't know. Um, and one of these had a demo for Sam and Max. And I remember playing it and loving it. It was so hilarious. And it was just, like, classic point-and-click adventure game. But it was just... Hilarious, and I knew nothing about it. All I know is that there's a there's a, a, a wisecracking sort of monotone dog. I think his name is Sam, and there's this sort of hyperactive, um, psychotic rabbit called Max, who is just hilarious. And um, yeah, that's basically all I know. I can't even remember what was in the demo, and I haven't played the game since. Um, and what they've done now. I was going to play this anyway, but I've discovered they've now done a remastered version of it. So that's, this is what this is. And this was just released like a few months ago. So I'm excited to dive in and, and see it. Apparently, it's it's a really great game and really funny. So it's typical um, Telltale Games affair. You know, you've got all these episodes that you see here. Uh, it's It was an episodic release when it was made. There's six episodes, clearly. But you can buy them all in one go now. And I think it was like... 15 pounds or something so it's not a bad price for this um and apparently it's it's really good i i heard that it starts off a little bit eh, like they're still finding their feet because this is one of their first games but apparently it gets really good at the end and there's a season two and a season three they haven't done a remastered version of that so we might wait for that before we jump into it if i really like this though then there's a really good chance that we're gonna ultimately finish all three seasons because i like classic adventure games i like telltale i like um hilarious games like Monkey Island, so I'm just excited to see what Sam and Max has in store. I'm going in completely blind, so uh, don't spoil anything for me, and uh, let's just enjoy the humor and the story and have lots of fun. And apparently it's it works with controller, so we'll see how that goes. You might switch to keyboard and mouse if that doesn't work perfectly. But anyway, episode one, Culture Shock. I have no idea what this is. The former child stars of the Soda Poppers TV show are wreaking havoc all over the neighborhood. But this is no ordinary tale of child stars gone awry. There's a dark force behind the poppers baffling antics. What? So we got child stars causing havoc and then there's a dark force behind them? That's crazy cool. Using only their wits and a slew of heavy household objects. <laughs> it's up to Sam and Max to save the day. That's hilarious. Okay, so that's Sam and Max in the magazine, I take it. I, I, I might be wrong. I, Max might be the dog. Um... I'm not sure, but let's just dive in and let's have some fun. Uh, sit back, relax. These games are generally quite chilled. Uh, we, we're probably going to have to solve a few puzzles, but you know what? We'll we'll tackle that when we come. And I kind of like puzzles. I like adventure games. So let's give it a go. See how long it takes to load. Okay, not bad. I love the music, guys. So jazzy. Oh, I like this already. This is so cool. Sam and Max. I love this. It's like it's like um an 80s TV show. <laughs> it's so cool. What? I love it. It's got very like classic vibes to it. Very much like a cop show kind of thing, you know? Ah, that is cool. What? <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be a really weird experience. What the heck, that rabbit? This is going to be weird, guys. I can feel it already. Culture shock. 
Oh, who's shooting at who? Around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local <laughs> lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Wow. Okay, don't scream this time. Oh my goodness, you guys! This is so it. dark. I got it. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Oh, someone's holding Jenny the phone Christmas hostage. Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Really? I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Oh, goodness. It's the rat. The rat Ordinarily, wants Swiss cheese. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, wow. it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Oh, my Sadly, goodness. That's yes, just like me. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. That is hilarious, guys. What? Where did you just go? Oh, we are Sam. Okay. Select an object and A to interact with it. Okay. So this is kind of kind of cool. What we got here? We got a car. Okay, let's let's explore the room left to right. This is how you do like old-fashioned adventure games. Uh, so we're Sam. So that must be Max down there. I really like this already. Max is kind of like. Actually, both of them. It's like a, a really cool kind of sarcastic, sardonic kind of wit. Um, very fast-paced. I love it. And Max just seems kind of crazy, honestly. Uh, look at him. What is he doing? Uh, okay, anyway, let's keep exploring. Coat rack. Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise. I kind of don't think I want to know what that surprise is, Max. A news collection? Hello, Mr. Spatula. Mr. How's Spatula. It's like QWERTY from <laughs> Mr. Robot. Mr. Spatula is their, their fish. Okay. Light switch. Ooh. I don't know how that helps us. They got a lava lamp, guys. Just like me. Hello, Max. Can I target you at all? Can't seem to target Max. This might be a bit of a, a slow way to do this. You know, we might switch to mouse and keyboard. Yeah, mouse and keyboard might just be better. So I'm going to put the controller aside for now, ladies and gentlemen. It might just be easier to play this on mouse and keyboard. A lot more efficient. All right, let's have a look at the dartboard. One of these days, we're going to finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. What the hell are you doing with the darts, dude, that they get confiscated by police? Okay, that's Max there. Great. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? Oh, good old-fashioned dialogue wheel. I love... Not dialogue wheel, dialogue... This is before dialogue wheels, where you had like the list of dialogue choices. That's awesome. Where's the cheese? You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. Well, that's good to know, but... <laughs> Dude, and you have forgotten your pants. Where are they? Who do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the union. <laughs> I wish we hadn't missed that call. It might have been the commissioner calling with a case. Yeah. yeah. Hey, or maybe it was the president about my idea to do daylight savings time in five minute increments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Max is just so funny, guys. Oh, I feel so all alone because some crook has swiped my phone. Rodent or rodents unknown. Where's my banjo, Max? I've hidden it for the good of society. <laughs> Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, it's you're the one today. with clothes on. <laughs> oh, guys, I love this. This is hilarious. Why didn't I play you this sooner? never what life would be like if we were bugs. Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. <laughs> the random Some shit you can talk I about can here. Feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. <laughs> Wow, this is Let's so dark, guys. I couldn't agree more. Wow, that's hilarious. So do, how, we move with... Okay. Whee! Oh! That is hilarious. I can just knock Max across the room. That's freaking cool. <laughs> All right, let's have a look around. Waste basket. No dice. The humor in this is so good, guys. It's like so dark and just awesome. I love it. And like the banter. Max is hilarious. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. <laughs> Oh, guys, I don't even have an answering machine, so. Remember, this is why I don't have one. Moon, Max? <laughs> like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You what? continue to baffle me, little pal. <laughs> the random shit he says. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. Wow. 
Wow, quieter times? That doesn't sound quiet. <laughs> Boxing glove? This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> Less vegetation. Could use some water, Max. Hubert. I'm training him to fetch it himself. And we got an open window. Ooh. Oh, what is this? Graffiti? They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Is that a white guy with a, a with an afro? Hmm. I love this sort of like comic book style. It's pretty cool. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You what? bet, little buddy. That's so weird, dude. Ah, left click is an inventory item or right click to examine Boxing it. Boxing glove is just the thing for violence on a crisp evening. And the gun? I'll never travel without my trusty firearm. Can we use the gun? Ah, that is so cool. Oh, I'm just firing out an open window, guys. That's a little messed up. How about Max? Tempting sometimes, but I become fond of the little guy. <laughs> I just thought, you know, with this kind of humor, we might be able to. I think you need darts for the dartboard, though. Can we shoot the light switch? Hmm, this kind of, like, that's cool. You can just, like, pull out your gun and shoot stuff. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of stuff here. We got Roadkill Calendar. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. <laughs> yes, Sam. That's what Max, that's what they do. <laughs> Hang on, we got TV here. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. <laughs> Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. You know, it's actually true. That's what all the self-help stuff is often advertised as, right? It's like advertised as for the people who spend all their time thinking about, you know, themselves and not the rest of the world. Not that I'm saying self-help is a bad thing, you know. Do your self-help. Absolutely get it. You know, it's great stuff. But it's just interesting how, like, so many of the people who consume it are, like, often just, like, very egocentric without realizing it. Um, is there other stuff on TV? Or is it Expel just that? Your troubles with emetics. Okay, it's I've just that. This. Ah, you right click to skip it. That's cool. Okay. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. Oh, they so still have you know VCRs. Still smells like asparagus, though. Wow, oh, VCRs? What year is this? 2004? That's what I'm seeing here on the case file. That is cool. It's still a VCR. with the reception here. Put it back, Sam. Put it back. If you take away the coat hanger, you're not going to yeah, get any TV it. reception. <laughs> oh, wow. This is so funny, guys. No comment. That's so cute! Max has got like a little kitty's desk. Oh, and he's busy like doing underarm farts. Wow, Max. That is awesome. He's got like a little cute desk of his own. That's super cool. Okay, here we got uh, a lava lamp. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. Yeah, I was about to say like it's... It's wax. <laughs> you can't really use it unless it's hot and then you don't want to do that. Oh, Max, you're so, like, s sadistic that you tell people to do these things. That's hilarious. 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. That's just electric bills? Wow. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. You're not going to tell me what it is, 2004? I think that's 2004. Or is it? No, the dates are backwards. That's 2003. No, what? 09-21-18? 21st of September 2018? This game was released like more than a decade ago. How's he got a file from the future? Ah, uh, yes, I remember that case. Particularly <laughs> gruesome. What? That is hilarious, guys. Really weird as well. Bowling Lou, ball. Lou. Who's Lou again? A bowling ball, of course. Yeah, obviously. I'm just picking up random shit right now. I don't know what well, it's I doing. I got this thing. I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? <laughs> you know. <laughs> I, I like... I have to like have posters and stuff in my room so that I remember to do stuff and you have too many and you just stop reading them. So I totally empathize with that. We got the rat hole, let's talk to the thief. Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. Leave the cheese by the hole. Okay. Jesse James's we hand. Have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. What the fuck? What kind of police are these guys? That they like have random people's hands on the walls. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> I love how he just hits Max. Oh, oh, there it is. Yay! That's a lot of cheese, Max. 
You really need to buy that much. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? That's so, true. So, was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. That's right. Okay. What have we got in our inventory that can help us? We could shoot holes in it. I wonder if that would make it Swiss cheese. Take that, you law-breaking dairy product. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! <laughs> innocent? I think not. Wow. Max, you're my Voila. favorite. Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't That's say brilliant. voila. Wow, we got Swiss cheese just like we made it Swiss cheese. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow, that was quite easy, actually. And a good intro to the game. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for really? the return of the phone is as follows. Uh, Max, eat him. <laughs> is he actually going to do it? No. Let's discuss Ooh. this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. <laughs> uh, no, I ain't talking. That's hilarious. Oh, click the badge to switch between Sam and Max. That's so cool. So you can like decide who's talking. That's cool. Did you guys see on the wall in the background there was like Max must have been drawing something? Oh, it's hilarious. Okay, let's be reasonable. We've met your demands. We got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us right. rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. Jeez, are those are all of these like Max's post-its? <laughs> That's hilarious. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. I ain't no pig, I'm a dog. Well, that doesn't sound any better. <laughs> Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! I could take care of myself. Uh, yeah, totally. <clears throat> I don't think you can. Um, yeah, no. Now's the time to be a little bit dark about it, right? I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Uh, I'm about <laughs> ready to wring your scrawny, trash eating neck. You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Yes, I'm a rat, remember? <laughs> Can I go now? You know, Max is actually scary. If he spoke to me like this, I'd be terrified. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. <laughs> like His what? Insults are hilarious. You don't even want to know. <laughs> Amateurs. <laughs> Amateurs, really? <laughs> Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. Oh. You bore me. A dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. So are we supposed to intimidate this guy? Be nice to him. I don't know. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? <laughs> Fine. Jimmy Toothy <laughs> ain't afraid of no cats. Can I uh, go now? That's hilarious. Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. He clearly doesn't yeah, have one. <laughs> yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. Wow. Max has got nothing useful to say. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? <laughs> Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. Okay. I got to think about heights. They make <laughs> Stick him out the window. No. Oh, really? Mmm. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait. Well, <laughs> I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ass guy. <laughs> all right, all right. Have mercy. I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up. Take your phone and let me go. Oh, ah, for the love oh, he of ate it. I wish I could unsee that. That is disgusting. Hello. He just answered yes. like that. Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. <laughs> We're on our way. Yeah! Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, no. He dropped the rat. Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. <laughs> Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy. That's my second favorite feasance. <laughs> Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Oh, that's hilarious. That's my favorite kind of feasance. I love how Max, how Sam was like, great galloping whatever, whatever is 
Oh, the dialogue in this is the best. Let's switch the lights on. Knock Max out of the way. And let's go to the, the corner store. Because <clears throat> apparently that's where we need to go. So I guess this is the start of like the story for whatever the six episodes are. Right. Um, hold down right click or shift to run. Double click left click to run to an area. Right. You can also left click to move somewhere. That's cool. So we don't even need to use the arrow keys. What's this? Graffiti? They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what right. we need. More <coughs> lame poetry. We looked at that out the window. One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. <laughs> Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Your prescriptions, dude. Something is seriously wrong with you, Max. What are you doing? Are you like coughing up a hairball? <laughs> Herbal. Wow, this game is brilliant. I love it. Dumpster. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. Max, I think you just leave shit everywhere. <laughs> Clearly, we've got a bent meter over here. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. <laughs> is this what happened? <laughs> he drove it into that. That's hilarious. I got some more graffiti here. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. And we got Specs. Who's Specs? That chat that's chat to Specs. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Street urchin. <laughs> oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. What? Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. These are the, the child it's stars? It's called the Soda Poppers. And the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you! <laughs> 70s are wow, pretty old. <laughs> celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! <laughs> Max, you say the random as shit. Uh... <laughs> Boy, you wow. sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still Once upon famous. a time? Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. I don't know well, you. We were really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. <laughs> that would make so much sense. Um, all right. How about an autograph? Why not? Say, how about an autograph for my pal? Made a celebrity. You can sign my butt. Make it out to Squinky. Spray paint his butt. butts anymore. Anymore? They get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. <laughs> this has to be perfect. Max. Wow. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up or something like that. <sighs> you made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. You made me mess up. Wow, he's even using the catchphrase in real life. So Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. Brady He's Culture. The genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. Ocular really Fitness? Try one of his videos. Like fitness for the eyes? What is that? Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Yeah. <laughs> Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. <clears throat> try the video today. I think you're a little bit, um, Brainwashed if you're literally just telling us to try it today like that. Ibo sounds like Ibo. Okay, we've heard all of that. Where, Where can we get the video? A copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. Bosco's! Who is Bosco? Sounds fascinating. <laughs> but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Yeah, well, we'll see. Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate. I was heavy into three ring binders at the time and. I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and in the Way. Never saw that walker coming. As in, like, he got knocked out? Wow, by a walker? <laughs> well, that's, that's hilarious. Nice. All right, uh, let's talk about your spray Tell painting. Tell something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? Uh, who or what are you painting? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brady Culture. Oh, that's he's Brady Culture. Okay. The Ibo Ocular Fitness Oh, that's why he's program. pointing at his eyes. You Makes really sense. should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. <laughs> Sa Max, I keep getting the TV confused with Max. That's hilarious. Sounds okay, enough about that. You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you painting? Is it art or is it advertising? Is this art or is it advertising? I, I, I'm not. Is there really any difference? Good. Point, buddy. <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, art is kind of also subliminal messaging, right? Trying to tell you something without saying it in words. So I guess maybe. Do you live to paint or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Uh, sounds like you got a problem. Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. Okay, I think this guy's brainwashed. For sure. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. <laughs> How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. <laughs> These are like the, the dirtiest cops ever. It's kind of funny. Just I know like it's like in in like this is a thing that happens in real life and it's kind of sad, but it's it's something about seeing it said so straightforwardly that these are dirty cops and it's they're like really dirty and there's something funny about it it's kind of like dark humor i love it is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that what no where <laughs> i'm just pulling uh, your his leg my friend don't Ooh. do that dude that was a bit low oh i didn't mean it like that <laughs> well we'll leave you to it but you have to agree to paint me next sorry i only paint brady culture Max, Dude. you've got the TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on ah. channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which Look we only Max's get when it's button. convenient. It's so cute. He's got such a cute belly button. Okay, so this guy seems to be brainwashed by someone called Brady Culture. So I think we're starting to see a bit of the mystery coming through now. But is he the criminal? He doesn't seem like he's terrorizing anyone. He's just like spray painting stuff. So this is Bosco's inconvenience here, right? It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. <laughs> that would make sense. Bad news it and worse news. Cloning rights <laughs> activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, guys. Okay, before we go in, let's just finish looking around. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. Baked they beans? Fresh? They don't. Baked beans instead of gum? Wow. Fire hydrants? Takes me back to my childhood. Oh, Sam, you dirty dog, really? <laughs> no PED crossing? What does that mean? And a van? Hmm. Brady Culture's van. Ibo Ocular Fitness. Why is the van there? That's interesting. Corner of Straight and Narrow. I love the name of the street. Alright, let's head into Busker's Inconvenience. Inconvenience, I love it. Is this the corner store we're supposed to go to? Have Hello. no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police <laughs> are here to keep the peace. I love the rhyme. Impossible, you called? <laughs> it's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? 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 Hold on, Bosco. What's <laughs> Why the problem? would we say NASA? What's the problem? It's this is a Bosco. terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. Munchkin terrorist, that's a little bit mean. Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Isn't he oh, with the okay. ladder control issues? Yeah, Wizzer! Wizzer! He's a former child star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail! <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, is this like... Is this like... Uh, a thing that like child stars tend to have problems? Like Bojack Horseman kind of stuff? <laughs> okay. Remain calm, citizen. We got this One under of us control. Needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. No, that's not us. And you should take a few yourself. Oh. How can I be calm <laughs> with a munchkin terrorist in my store? Well, what's he doing that makes him a terrorist? Exactly. What is the nature of wizards' malfeasance? <laughs> yeah, what's He's he doing? videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo. Okay, these guys what are is that? definitely oh, hypnotized. Bad, I can tell you or that. brainwashed. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy <laughs> so like that. I hear that. Oh my goodness. Oh uh, wow. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about Good it. Good question. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. Hm. It makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think I... you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <laughs> No, it's definitely a conspiracy. <laughs> the hot weenies in an updraft. Oh, on the left. Okay. <laughs> Is this guy like a conspiracy theorist? That's hilarious. Um, would make so much sense the way he's talking. 
he'd, he would get along really, really well with certain groups of people in the current world. <laughs> What all sort right. of malevolent forces would conspire to burden yeah, with unwanted why, video Yeah, how is this a conspiracy? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, the mafia. aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Niels Bohr? Switzerland, head lice, lint, pastrami, hairspray, Stop stealth. right there! Hairspray had no part in this. <laughs> oh, sure. That's what you like to believe. Wow. Dude, you're just a little bit like, uh... Of a bit of a nutcase, right? Like, wow. Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. Yeah, to be fair, I don't think we should watch this. I feel like it might just uh, brainwash us as well. Uh, you know, he's a bit of conspiracy nut, but it does seem a bit suspicious. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Aside from, yes. Aside from dumping he videos. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? <laughs> I think I know. My goodness. So we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. Not even the National Guard can help us now. <laughs> wow, seriously? Like, you have a problem with him using your toilet? <laughs> so all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And using the and toilet. abusing his bathroom privileges. Bathroom That's privileges? It? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise <laughs> or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No Max. way! I've got B Tads, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. Uh, but how is B Tads helping you? B Tads? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? <laughs> you yep. never know what they stand for. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. Ah. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? I'm surprised well, you're not wearing a, a tinfoil hat. You'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead. I dare you. Maybe you we will. Know, maybe it's worth trying. <laughs> Why isn't it working though? sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop small bladder boy over Is it here? Because he's not doing anything it wrong. It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not from bringing it in. <laughs> All right. That's hilarious. A rare case of reverse shoplifting. Reverse shoplifting. Shop dropping. Shop dropping. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, I think that I think clears everything it. up then, right? Okay, anything else? Uh, nice place you got here. Nice place you got here. First time I'm seeing What's it. What's so nice about it? Uh, nice name? Bosco's Inconvenience. <laughs> nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. <laughs> well, thanks. That's yeah. right. <laughs> I love the dark humor in this. How do you get out of that cage anyway? Uh, that's for me to know and you never to find out. <laughs> what? Do you live back there? That's hilarious. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You've been robbed as many times as I have. You do the same. I've never been robbed, actually. But then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You yeah. crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> that might just do the work. <laughs> what were we talking about? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> we want to buy something. We'd like what to patronize buying? your fine establishment, my good man. No idea what we're buying, but you, let's he see. Means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. He probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. <laughs> I know what he meant. Don't uh. patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? Max, oh, dude. Uh, what do you got? What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And we got so I much might cheese, have we don't need more. Of interest behind the counter. Ooh, what is the item? What's behind the counter? Your thinly veiled <laughs> invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade tear launcher? Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh, yeah, I really want that. Well, it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. Tear gas! I feel really close to you right now. <laughs> Max, you psychopath. We'd All like right. that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. $10,000? 10, we'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. Oh, one really you big mean... one. <laughs> White Collar Crime Drive. Oh. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this box someone the stand, we can go them. us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. Oh. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. That's like such dodgy cop work. Wow. Okay, what about the cheese? We'll take that <clears throat> cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You've got to bring it to the counter so I can Okay, I've got to pick it up. Do we have to do Basically. everything around here? <laughs> All right, do you have, do you any... have any... weasels on a stick? Weasels on a nope. stick. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? <laughs> nope. What is this, an RPG? Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? What? Nope. 
Do you have any candy pink fat boys? What? Nope. <laughs> Dude, you just got a friendship. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. Exiled political dissidents? Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? <laughs> wow. Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Hmm. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. <laughs> can you really do that? Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Wow. Humor in this game. I love it. Okay. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Let's, uh... That's about everything to discuss, we'll right? We'll more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pine-sized evildoer. Yep, sounds Stop like a good plan. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! He doesn't seem that crazy. Oh! Wizard really moves fast! He's that Quicksilver! That's crazy! Okay, before we uh, before we call it quits, because I'm, I'm aware of the, of the time, I, he said if you pull out a big gun, something's gonna happen, so I'm really tempted. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Clean up on aisle three. Oh, that's hilarious. Knocked us out because he pulled out a gun. You okay, Sam? Wow. I need a new skull, but otherwise, no complaints. Bosco's is a gun-free zone. Gun-free? Sartre was right. Purgatory really is a convenience store. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, little buddy. It jiggles my sensitive cranium. That's hilarious. Like, since when do you get gun-free zones in America? That's... Wow. And this is 2006, so this like probably was like still fresh like topics for them. All right, let's um let's call it quits there. We'll come back next time, find out exactly what's going on with Wizard and why he's running around like this. What is going on with um Brady Culture? I think his name is. And basically, it seems like such a small job for us, but we got to stop this malfeasance, whatever it is. So I'll see you guys next time on Sam and Max Save the World. Until then, stay safe, little buddies. Bye for now.